Welcome back. Basketball has for decades been one of the most popular sports in the world. And let's face it, Woo! also one of the coolest as we kill a cameraman. <laughs> right. We've all seen basketball hoops <laughs> popping up in, whoops, Daisy. Oh, it's going that very well. In back gardens around the country. In fact, uh, playing numbers have increased by how many? Uh, 40, 48, 48 percent since 2016. Now hold that for me there. Uh, uh, that's across schools across the country. Now, oh. the guys okay. here have uh, the latest iteration is 3x3. Three three. I never heard of 3x3. Three three. It's set to make it even more popular. Dublin GAA legend and former Irish Super League basketball star, Woo. Michael Darren McCauley, who now works with North East Inner City, is here to explain, along with Ireland's internationals, Sean Flood and Lynn Tunnock. Guys, good morning. Good Thank morning, you so much. all. Good Thank you for coming in and putting all this together, by the way. That was no mean feat. Now, I'll can I, can I ask you guys first about this 3x3 three three thing? That's a new one on me now. Is this a new form of the sport or what is it? Yeah, it's uh, obviously a smaller side of game. It's only really a half, or half court. Um, it's a lot quicker paced. Everything's kind of short and sharp. And was it originally yeah. designed as a kind of a training exercise? Um, I'm not sure to be honest with you yeah. but uh, yeah there's a lot of small sided games kind of coming into basketball so this is kind of a probably a training mechanism I know a lot of NBA teams use this during the summer yeah. for uh, quick decision making and stuff like that so yeah it's really really taken off and in terms of the sport of basketball in Ireland I mean I remember even when I was a kid I remember I'm from near from Colester and they always had a big the basketball team but it's got bigger and bigger and more popular what do you put it down to is it the high visibility of the NBA that we can watch it here yeah, or something yeah, I, I definitely think so um, basketball is kind of more in the limelight now because the NBA has grown into kind of yeah. the global league and it's nearly 12 months of the year there's always something going on yeah. so I think Irish people see that and kind of take an interest then into our own national teams and our own national league here too so. and, the, and the league is getting stronger and stronger, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, I know there's a lot of high-profile Irish players now playing in the league who are stepping up and playing international basketball too. So I think the more we get eyes on that, the more people see that basketball is an exciting sport that's great to watch. So, High visibility. Uh, come back. Exactly. Lynn, Lynn here as well. You were a very well-known face as well in Irish basketball. So tell us um, about the popularity of the sport in the country. Like I used to play it in secondary school. I remember getting hammered in Netflix <laughs> stadium and Cork. All these things we shall not speak. But it is. And it's consistently been very popular, particularly amongst girls' sports, because it's hard to get girls invo involved in sport and keeping girls involved in sport. Yeah. No, it's... Like definitely grown um, as a sport overall, and even with basketball Ireland putting on kind of um, like tournaments, competitions outside of the season, um, it's definitely grown, and the support that the the women are getting now has definitely increased. Yeah, and when it comes to equality between women and men, are you happy with the representations there? Yeah, definitely. Like even from when I was a part of the senior team, like I definitely think it has grown from when I've been a part of it to like what the, what I've heard of like in previous years. You know, it's definitely got more support. And t tell us now the strategies now for this new 3x3 three three game. This is, I don't know, however new it is, but it is a, it's a lot quicker. I'd say you have to be a lot faster on your feet and in your, your head when it comes to planning the actual games. How is it on the scale of enjoying it compared to your more traditional uh, five-player teams? Um, it's great fun. Um, really good experience. It is a lot quicker. It's a 10-minute game um, and it's only a 12-second shot clock. So it's basically as soon as... You get the ball, you have 12 seconds to shoot, so it's very quick. Wow. Yeah, um, and the points are in ones and twos, so it does take that a little bit longer to kind of get your scores up, but... Uh, there's no three-pointers? Three-pointers are counted as two. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Kind of two so that's are as one. See, I'd say, or else everyone would just go there and try and get yeah, the three-pointers. Exactly. Yeah. There'd be no game. Yeah. 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 And we, we have a, a former star of the Irish League here. At least that's what, that's what you told me to say. Uh, my, <laughs> Michael um, Dara. It's a sport that you've been into for years and years and years. Uh, yeah, yeah, ever since I was like, yeah, hi, I had basketball in my hands. Uh, so my neighbours used to have to call into the house, being like, will that fella ever just go to bed? I, was, <laughs> I had one of those metal rings. Stop oh, banging no. the ball and off the wall. All night, like yeah, yeah. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, just like, yeah. please, my dad got to bed. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm all about this, yeah. And there's a big event coming up then this weekend. Tell us what's happening, where is it happening? Yes, yeah, so, so, so there's loads going on. So there's the Super Slam has gone on with Basketball Ireland up at the National Basketball Arena. So that's huge. Registration is open. I think there's, there still might be some places left as well. Um, so, and then I'm working with the North East Inner City and we're running one of, as well at Metroid Park and that's gone on on the 28th. Uh, so we ran one last year, even like it was kind of during COVID. So you're doing all dancing around. And all kind the, of all ages, Michael. Derrick, all ages, sorry, yeah. So we have one of 12s, then we have one of 14s, 17s, and we have seniors, men's and women's. And um, we're actually looking at... Uh, 
the we're talking to the Irish wheelchair as well. They might be putting an event in as well. Uh, so yeah, yeah, completely inclusive. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant actually to get uh, kids involved and keep them involved in sport, especially in the inner city, because there's limits in what what you can do when there's a lack of green spaces. Yeah. 100. Like basketball is a sport that's always thrived in disadvantaged areas, like traditionally in yeah. New York and, and and around the countries. Uh, so yeah, and like look, uh, that's that's the issue that I deal with every day is that I'd love to have a Gaelic football club in the inner city. I can't have one. Yeah, you just yeah. don't have a green field. Yeah. It, it doesn't exist. Um, so. The basketball is huge, and like not every kid is the soccer kid. The soccer kid usually always gets catered for it. It's usually a soccer kid, and the, and the Gaelic kid most most places around the country does. But the, but um but the basketball kid is we're we're giving those people an opportunity around the area, and they're really really grabbing it. So it's 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 exploding. Team sport is so healthy. You get involved in. Yeah, hundred percent. Like we always say that, like you need, you need like that kind of whatever. Even if you don't become like superstars like these guys, you might like. No pressure like, there, lads. <laughs> but, but you, you still have that ring. If you fall on, fall on tough times, you still have that ring of people. A couple of years later, even if you fall out of the sport, you're like, look back and look after Michael. Sure, he was on the team back in the day. Yeah. Uh, so uh, like huge. I'm a big, big, big promoter of team sports. Yeah. yeah. In terms of of the league picture then in Ireland. Um, how has the league developed and then internationally because we always have we've been Irish Irish teams as well how are we getting on internationally in terms of our level where are we at um, internationally I think we've taken huge strides forward now probably in the last year um, this time last year we actually won the European Championships for small countries yeah. so um, from there we progressed then to European basket pre-qualifiers okay. so uh, we were actually competing there in November February and we had our final win out there in June so um, picked up some People good wins. Forget how, how big it is across mainland Europe. Like you look at when you look at the Olympics and that, you'll see the European teams. It's huge across mainland Europe, isn't it? Oh, it's massive. Yeah, huge support and love basketball across Europe. I think in a lot of European countries now it's second behind football. Yeah. So um, hopefully we can make a bit of a push like that and get basketball to the forefront here in Ireland too. That's the plan, isn't yeah. it? Who are you looking to be like though? Like what, what, what are the what is the, the idols? Um, well, I must say, Grania Dwyer would probably be one of mine. Yeah. Um, she's from Cork. Uh, she uh -huh. was captain the senior team for years. Did you know Elaine's from Cork? <laughs> Cork yeah, yeah. Did you know yeah, her? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she would definitely be one of mine, um, for sure. Just like her yeah. attitude, her work, her work ethic and her dedication to it all. Yeah, in fairness, Cork has, in fairness, been a very strong basketball stronghold for many, many years. Well, like, the Cork person like to big up Cork. No, no, absolutely, <laughs> Michael Terry. Hey, hey, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Although I, I don't know if I should be um, dissing you at the moment because you're going to teach us how to do... Yeah, yeah, so you're going to... you going to give us a bit of a masterclass here? <laughs> a free throw masterclass? That, should we be asking, asking the guys here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, possibly, yeah, yeah. But you see what we can do is... is uh, can we do it, do you think? Of course we can. Right, we can okay, here we go. I'm getting rid of this guys. thing out in a second. Yeah, here, guys, going to take this off me. give you these. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, thank right. you. Here we go. Right, MD, <clears throat> come on. Here you go. You show us how it's done first. So, uh, like, I don't know if you ever... You've seen me play gated football. Like, <laughs> yeah, I have, yeah, I yeah. I like to play football. Like, I don't see you very well. Like, okay. so I just kind of like... Hang on. Right, this okay. Isn't, this isn't my strong yeah, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. This isn't your strong point, this is, is it? Is it, is it? Oh, look at the pressure here. Yeah, like, well, that's the pressure now. Look, it's, the but it's all about the pressure shot. Come on, you can do it. It's, it's more about like attitude. Like you need like right, none, none of this like, skill or anything. So you're gonna throw shapes and then so miss so the you basket. Have to, like, is that what you have you're doing? Little routine. So yeah. you have to, you have to yeah. walk up. You can't just walk up and shoot it. Okay. Yeah. You have to have like a little routine. You're gonna have to make one up really quickly. Okay. Like and make one up now while so you do it. Right, you show us, sir. So my one's like two bounces. Two bounces. And a little spin. And a spin. It's mainly theatrics. Okay. Right. I'll step back in case it rebounds and hits my head. I'll get ready to catch it. Oh! Right, Simon, would you like to yeah, have a go? Yeah, I'll have a go, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I like the idea of the little pre-shot uh, little pre -shot routines yeah, like golf, isn't it? Like, like right, the tennis players do. All right. oh, that's so we want a bit of that, Oops. a bit of a spin. Oh. Is it the hands? Follow through. It's all about the follow through. Yeah, we need a little bend in the knees. Oh, a little bend in the knees, yeah. okay, right, okay. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Right. I'll have a go. See ya. <laughs> right, you're in. I'll hold this. Right. You can hold this. Actually, right, talk her through talk. this, Michael. Okay, so you walk up. Bit okay. of swag about you now, like. Yeah, bit of swag. Oh, oh God. My bit, bit of a routine. routine. A little spin. Simon, I'll throw this at your I know you will. You probably, you probably <laughs> miss. Here we go. A little bend the knees. <laughs> yes. More. Yes. Oh. First oh. time. Oh. Right, first time. Here, do it again. Do it again. See if it was a fluke. Go on, do it again. Oh, you're, only, you're only doing this double way. Quits. You want me, you on, want me to quits. make a mess of it. No, I want you to get it. I Hard luck. making a show of me. Ah, oh, sugar. 
<laughs> right, that's Sticks, it, guys. Stick on your Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you for setting this brilliant cart up. Michael, uh, the best of luck with the event. When is it on again? We're on the 28th and the Summer Slam is on this weekend. Fantastic, yeah. okay. I can't read the camera. We're going to a break. We've got lots more coming up after we that. Do. Bye. News, news headlines. That's what you have next. Well done.